Hey everybody! Well, we're going to do a little follow-up to my original Eilic the Robot Companion Desktop Pet video review that I did on this guy here, the original one. So now we're going to connect two of these together and see how they react to each other. But first of all, I do want to mention that these food pieces that they come with are random. You get different ones and thankfully with this one I got five completely different pieces. So these are the original ones that I showed in the review video and then this is the ones that I got for this uh, new new eye like this one here looks kind of like a uh, if I can get the light on it just right you can see here it looks like a little Starbucks bottle and we also have a nice little hamburger and these look really good too they're very very detailed and then we also have some egg on toast here <laughs> it looks really good and we have a nice cake it's like a full-on cake right there and this one looks like some kind of a soda bottle or like some kind of a sparkling water type of thing now these magnets, like I mentioned before on my uh, previous video, these come with these um, double stick tape stickers. I haven't had much luck with these. Uh, they don't really seem to stick on very well, so I ended up having to super glue these magnets on. But if you decide to do that, make very sure that you've got the polarity right, because otherwise they won't stick to their arms like that, see? So if you got them on there wrong, it's not going to work. So make sure you got the polarity right on each one of those pieces. Alright, so let me turn these guys on and then we'll see how they interact with each other. Okay, so I've got them turned on now, and as I mentioned in the first video, they have these little connections on the side right here. See these little things right here? So they connect magnetically. So let's do this. This is going to be cool. I haven't tried these guys yet. Ah, oh, that's cool. They wave to each other. Okay, let me pet one and see what they do. Oh. Oh, that's great. Oh, <laughs> that was great. A little party there. Okay, let's try a little belly tickle. <laughs> a little slap fight going on there. Let me see what they do when they just kind of sit here for a minute. I'm not sure if they interact with each other or not. Maybe not. Okay, let me tickle this one on the back. Oh, that was great. A little fly squatting battle. Oh man, I wonder how many of these they got. I bet they got a ton of these animations. Oh man, that is awesome. Woke him up from his nap. Okay, let's try the music thing. So let me go into... Um, that's a game right there. I haven't figured that, that game out yet. Now, I think this is the music one. There we go. Oh, that's cool. Look how synchronized they are. <laughs> I'm not sure how long the songs are.
Okay. All right, we'll stop it on that one. Okay, let's try a faster beat song. Right here. Okay. <laughs> Near as I can tell, they're in stereo. That's really cool. <laughs> All right, we'll try another one. Now well, they really got the good moves here. <laughs> Almost sounds a little out of sync right there. Oh man. Okay, that's pretty wild. Okay, so the only thing I can't figure out... Oh, that's interesting. They've been sitting here for a while. Oh, I guess that one fell asleep. Okay, so if they sit there for a while, I guess they fall asleep. Let's see what the other one's gonna do. You know, I think they do pick up sound because there is a little, I think that's a microphone right here, that little dot. So it was really quiet while I was trying to figure out some other things on here. And now that I'm talking, it's, it's making him move a little bit. Okay, let me tap him real quick. See what he does. Okay, so I guess while that one's sleeping, he doesn't interact with that one. Let's see what he does. <laughs> okay, that was cool. <laughs> okay, let's see if they interact again. Okay, so it's back to the drink thing again. So, Okay, it's really cool how they sound like they're in stereo or they're kind of echoey because one is very slightly behind the other. I, I'm not sure if my microphone's picking it up, but it's really cool. So now the only thing I can't figure out is this game. So when we go to this game right here, now it shows this little hammer hitting his head, but I don't know what to do. Now if you guys know how to play this game, please comment in the comments because I haven't been able to figure it out. So what happens is you start this up. And then these things come up right here. Now I'm not sure. I don't know if you're supposed to tap it when these things appear. I'm not sure. Let me see. At least that's what I've been doing because it says to tap his head. But see then, the game ends when the bomb appears. So, and, oh, you know what? I think I know what it is. I think you have to not hit the bomb. I think you hit everything else but the bomb. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, we'll keep on going here. Oh, you know what? Maybe the good things, like maybe the wand is a good thing and you don't hit that. Okay, let's try it again. Let's try this again. I think I'm slowly figuring this out. Okay. 
Oh, shoot. I'm not supposed to hit the bomb. Dang it. Okay, let's try it again. Dang it. I'm going to get this yet. So you hit the bad things and leave the good things. Okay, don't hit the bomb. Let the bomb... Ah, that was it. Okay, you don't hit the flashlight because it was a good thing. A pen is fine, I think. I've never seen that one before. Okay, the gun you want to hit. Okay, that's okay. That's not. I think I finally figured this out. I've been working on this for like an hour. <laughs> gun, the pen's okay. Okay, the drink's fine. Oh, the hair dryer's okay. Ooh, that's tricky because it looks like a gun. Okay, don't hit the bomb. Don't hit the bomb. Pen's okay. Drink's fine. <laughs> this is actually pretty fun. Oh, man. Oh, I barely got that in time. Don't hit the bomb. Oh, that was it. You win. Sweet. Okay, that's it. I figured it out. That is... Okay, let me get him back to normal. That, that is really cool. That's a fun game. Okay, so you tap his head for things like a gun, but anything that's good, like a pen or the uh, little drink and stuff, you, you don't tap him for that. And then um, the bomb, you definitely don't tap. If you tap the bomb, the game ends instantly. And that's really cool. And then the hair dryer looks a lot like the gun, so it's a little tricky. But that was fun. I really enjoyed that now that I figured it out. Okay, so uh, whew, glad, glad, glad we figured that out. So if you got two of these guys, that's how you play that really cool game. Okay, so there we go. That's some interactions when you got two of them. Now, you can get as many of these guys as you want because there's connections on both sides of their bases. And I think in the music thing, you can synchronize them somehow so that they kind of do a domino effect. You can kind of see them doing that a little bit when one was slightly behind the other. And it's really cool that you can do that. But, I mean, you're going to have to spend a lot of money to buy that many Ilex to put them all together. But uh, having two of them is really fun. If you want just one, he's still very entertaining just on his own. But um, these little animations are the same each time you see these. Okay. See, they keep doing the same one. Oh, I was hoping I could interrupt that. So the way it looks, he's only got, they only have three. They only have three. Uh, <laughs> It seems like they have the same three interactions. Let me see with the belly and see if that's the same. Yeah, okay, that's the one. It's the same one where he tries to wake him up with the alarm clock right there. I like how they pick on each other. <laughs> it's really hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. By the way, if you're seeing a little bit of like uh, fluctuation in the graphics here, it's the camera. They don't look like that in, in person. In person, their, their graphics are perfectly crisp and clean. But uh, okay, so anyway, I just wanted to say these things are great. I love these little Ilex. I wish I could do the updates on them, unfortunately, as I mentioned in uh, the first video where I just reviewed the first one. Um, you can only update them on your computer, and it has to be Windows or iOS software. I have a Chromebook, and I downloaded the software, and when I tried to do the update, it didn't work. So, uh, and of course, and I wrote to um, Energy Energize Lab, who makes these little guys, and they said that right now it only works on Windows and iOS. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, I kind of wish they had an app that you could upload. You know the the updates that way, but these guys do not work through uh, Wi-Fi like Vector and Emo do. So, uh, you know, I, I guess I can understand that. I, on the box, it kind of touts that they don't need an app, and I think they're trying to make him a little more simple, you know, by not having an app and stuff like that. But it does make for people who don't have a Windows or iOS uh, computer to update them. So I'm probably going to end up missing out on some of the updates, unfortunately. But these things, <laughs> these guys are so cool. I, I'm really impressed with these. So yeah, hat off, hats off and a big kudos to um, Energize Lab for coming up with these little guys. They're super cute and they're fun and they're super interactive and I really love that game. That game was really fun. All right, well, I'll do one more animation here with the two of them together. It'll probably be the same one again. But in the meantime, let's try this out. That's the fishing one. Oh, it's the fly. So they only have three. I guess they only have three right now. 
<laughs> I like how one laughs when the other one is being inconvenienced. It's pretty funny. All right. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been fun playing with these little guys. If you want to go get them, I'll put a link down in the description to Energize Lab. They're $149 retail. Uh, I, at least they're on sale right now. I don't know if they're ever going to go back up to their normal price, but uh, they're really neat. I think they're fun. And another fantastic addition to the world of robotic desktop pets. I love, I love all of these guys. All right. Well, thank you for watching. I very much appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you on the next video. So thank you again, and have a good one.